Black Adam is set to hit theaters next December, and it's starring The Rock as Black Adam, so of course it's going to make a bunch of money. I mean, who does not want to see The Rock as basically Superman? Like, evil Superman, basically. I mean, that's just a moneymaker. Like, there's no way this, this isn't going to be a moneymaker. Um, but we, one of the things we know about this movie is that it is going to feature the Justice Society of America. But now, according to a new rumor, Warner Brothers is considering creating a Justice Society of America solo movie. But it's not officially in development yet because they want to wait and see how this movie does first and see the reaction of audiences to see if there's enough interest in a Justice Society movie. Um, so when it comes to the Justice Society of America in this movie, from what we've heard from rumors and leaks and reports, we know that the team is going to consist of Hawkman, Hawk Girl, Atom Smasher, Dr. Fate, and Cyclone, who was originally actually supposed to be Stargirl in this movie, but then Warner Brothers realized, oh, hey, we're making a Stargirl series for DC Universe and the CW. Maybe we should have a different character in this movie so that things don't get confusing. Oh, hey, that's a good idea. So then they're like, oh, what other character could we use? What would be cool? Oh, 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 Cyclone! Cyclone, oh, that'd be real cool. Oh, yeah, never heard of her before, but I don't know. It's got something to do with Cyclones. So anyway, if people enjoy the characters and the team in that movie, then it could spin off into their own movie. And it makes sense. The Justice Society of America is a very popular team. I mean, they're basically like the Justice League, but the classic Justice League, kind of. Um, so since they're not doing Justice League movies right now, other than the Snyder Cut, of course, uh, they could continue the type of Justice League story just with the Justice Society of America. And plus, we've seen them in live action multiple times before. We saw them in Legends of Tomorrow Season 2. We saw them in Smallville. Um, we, we're seeing them right now on the Stargirl series. Uh, f saw the first episode. Loved it. I'll leave the link to my uh, re review for the pilot down in the description if you want to check it out. It's my new favorite show, so you should definitely watch it. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we've seen the JSA plenty of times before. So people clearly love these characters, and it makes sense that they would spin off into their own movie. And, I mean, one of the hardest parts about doing a superhero team movie is that when you have a team of superheroes, it's hard to find them a villain because, you know, if you have, like, six or more heroes, how are they going to have a hard time fighting one villain? Like, you can't make one villain that powerful. So that's why one of the best things about the Justice Society of America is that they have an arch enemy team in the form of the Injustice Society of America. And that usually includes like Icicle, Sportsmaster, Tigress, uh, the Magician, or, or actually the Wizard, uh, sometimes Tiger King, Solomon Grundy. Uh, that's basically the lineup that we have going on on the Stargirl show. So... <laughs> I mean, you could have them as the villains for your own, for their own movie. I mean, it would just make sense. Um, now, if they do this movie, I'm not sure if they would include Black Adam in it because, like I said, it would be a spinoff from Black Adam. So he may have a cameo appearance, but if it's their own movie, I doubt he would appear, um, especially because I highly doubt he's going to become a member of the team because Black Adam in this movie, he's not going to be straight-up villain like he usually is in the comics. He's going to be more of an anti-hero, but he's not going to be a full-on hero like the rest of the JSA members. That's why I highly doubt he's going to actually join. Um, but yeah, I think this is actually a good idea. You know, expand people's horizons. A lot of people don't know who the JSA is because every, every time we've seen them in live action, on they were on TV shows. So if they were in a movie, people would, you know, know them better, I guess. But anyways, guys, what do you think about this? Please let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. And who would you want to see on the team of the Justice Society of America in their own movie? So if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, so I can keep you up to date on everything that goes on in the DC life.